you welcome again to computer made easy volume 2 practical classes and this is practical 2 and, and i'm your usual instructor engineer dbc 80 enjoy it so here is my autocad interface i already had my practical 2 zoomed in and uh, today's class will be drawing a cycloid this cycloid is on page 6 of the practical manual and uh, we begin by drawing a center line of a circle looking at what we want to draw i would prefer to draw my center line here although one of the very advantages of using autocad and card system in general is if your drawing doesn't fit you can always scale it up or down you can always move it unlike using paper and biro paper and uh, pencil where you have to completely redraw sometimes so i'm drawing a circle a circle or a cycloid the point the cycloid is just the locus of a point on a cylinder as it unwounds so the radius of a circle is 25 diameter 50 won't be using radius 50 as said in the manual because of our space so that done we need to divide this circle into 12 equal parts with this center line the circle is already divided into four but we need 12 360 divided by 12 that will give an angle of 30 30 30 that means we can use a set square 30 degrees set square to draw 30 30 30 30 if not we can use polar mode by tracking 30 degrees to draw a line 30 30 30 30 okay the this thing is 25 so 30 will do okay Then I will complete it. Line. One of the easiest things you can do. You will ask me why am I using 30? I'm using 30 because I know my dimensions. I know the radius of the circle is 25. So if I use 30, if the line is goes out by 30, it will cut my circle and extend by 5 mm which is still something nice now i want to transfer all these lines all this division into the construction line layer just click them nice and smooth and uh, construction line there then i would like to number it 0 2 12 0 to 12 0 to 12 if i use dt and uh, type 0 my text looks a, a, a little bigger for what i bigger than what i want so i'm going to invoke this style and uh, create another another text let me call this one labels and for this i'll be using height of uh, three three will do apply set as current close now let's see the difference dt starting point no no okay notation zero zero can you feel the difference? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eleven, come on, eleven, 
Le nid est vers autour. Okay. Le nid is not the nid in this one. So the next thing we want to do is to erect a perpendicular line to each of these division. What, what we're saying is we erect a tangent, tangent to each of these points where the division cuts the circle. Okay. So I'll be using my construction line and I'll be starting from here. To make sure I do what is right, I'll invoke O snap. I want to clear all. What I need is I need a tangent, a line that is tangent and perpendicular, and I'm fine. Okay. So line starting from zero. No. Okay. to zoom in oh come on see this line let's go again let's use that O snap again let's use tangent and uh, intersection Section. I need the intersection. No, I need the intersection. Do we snap again? Let me just select all them. Why we had to, why I had to do that in the first case is I wanted to show us the viewers a student that in some cases you need to off the object snap so that it won't interfere with your drawing too much and just keep some some selected so line. Green dot 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 line. Okay. The answer. Fine. Now there are a number of ways to draw a curve. 
one way is to use a, a compass to mark out the points then after marking out the point to join with a smooth curve another way is by using the compass method which is simply by taking the arc tool so enter so we we'll go to one we choose we go from zero until we reach the zero line come on so my drawing is drawing anti-clockwise okay so it's going anti-clockwise also quite normally goes anti-clockwise i know from here to here is uh, to this end point is 15 so i can come down on this line and choose radius of 15 oh come on arc center point as where the division meets so i check it up with this it's 15 then i come on this line come on baby then 51 5 doing something else okay let's just draw it let's just draw and tick trim then okay back again center this so I extend fine this will work perfect this will only take us a little longer so back again center center is this then we're going to join it to this arc we're going to join the arc to the, to the other arc intentionally not cutting this place off from this video so that it, it can be a lesson for you to know that there are some things we draw in AutoCAD that doesn't have a straight straight tool that you just click and draw there are still some that you need to go through the technical drawing way of uh, constructing them we are while there are some well, there are some things like uh, ellipse which have been uh, so simplified that with just one one click you can draw what you need and uh, we need to credit Autodex they are really trying every year they bring up a new software with added packages every year doing that consistently since 2007 if not even later than that they've been doing that consistently the AutoCAD we enjoy today is 
so far different from what you can have started way back then. So extend. Maybe soon when we have a uh, AutoCAD for mechanical, come on here. Yeah. Maybe when we have AutoCAD for mechanical, all this involute and code will be preloaded, and you can just draw it with a tool. Okay, center. Well, not to be distracted. We're making good progress. it's wonderful there's a little excess here don't want to cut off so when i join my cough i will have a very smooth cough then arc again center okay end of the cough okay now, that means I need to extend this line. Okay. So, trim as usual. And extend. Okay. Slowly but surely, our involute is forming arc again I know the center here now I know it starts here okay so we, we need to extend this and subsequently other lines too I don't mind. Our drawing is cutting a border line and it's even going beyond the paper. It should not be, but never mind. This is one of the very, f very many advantages of using a uh, card system because you can always move your drawing, you can copy, you can paste without needing to withdraw which you can't do if you were using paper and viral so arc again center point I need to take a zoom at it so that I have the correct place okay as you can see slowly but surely our involute is forming gradually. Okay. Then this line, I just stretch it out. When I'm stretching, I make sure it's on the axis as it should be. Okay. Then extend. Okay. 
okay then just two more and we're done to extend this line too make sure when you're extending or if you were stretching like I just did make sure your line is still on the axis so that you don't end up having something else okay then back again for the last time because I'm back to 12 now no that was a mistake arc center by the way you can go to arc and you see a couple of options where you can choose the one you quite really need but I'm more of a shortcut person I see going up there as a very long journey that's why I go right click and you know come on okay so extend oh beautiful then the next thing we do is we join our curve into a smooth curve. Join. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you are just joining us, this is AutoCAD Made Easy Volume 2. The practical classes. Come on. Why are you not properly joined? Let's see something wrong okay you see so I only need to extend this and uh, we're fine so I join again and now we have a smooth single curve oh, oh my joint with this okay now we have a smooth curve our curve should be on the outline layer come on why are you doing this our curve should be on the outline layer which I'm putting there right now let me zoom here and see if there's any problem this uh, distance might be as small as 1 mm but also card will bring it out for you okay now the next thing is uh the way my drawing cuts through my borderline is not acceptable so what i want to do is i want to scale my drawing down such that it can fit onto my paper how do i do that i choose scale and i select what I want to add others that are not selected I join them after I am sure everything is selected then I accept my input I want to scale it up now I'll be using a smaller scale 0.75 so that you okay fine now my drawing is another problem I easily use move move string okay so my still not selected you would better be selected okay isn't that wonderful then 
I want to invoke my D text. Before I invoke my D text, I've changed. I want to change it back to my type two. So it's all right. Close. D T. And invo notes. Okay. Then I would also like to put a dimension to the circle. So I use D. Yeah, it's interfering. So I can use dim there. Can we see it? Not really. So dim there again. What I just did is to edit the dimension style. So I'm going sleep here. And uh, voila. Yeah. So thank you for watching uh, Pataka 2, Pataka 3, Pataka 3 of 13 for AutoCAD Made Easy Volume 2. I've been your instructor, Engineer DBC 80. See you in the next episode.